And good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today with our Minister of uh, Technology and Innovation, Nate Glubish, as we share a new strategy that will position our province as the go-to destination for AI data centers. We may not always see it, but artificial intelligence plays a greater role in our everyday lives. AI is behind all of the newest technologies we rely on to make our lives better, simpler, safer. But as AI grows, the companies at the forefront of that AI technology need bigger and more powerful supercomputers to train better models in order to use AI to solve problems in new ways. And that means that they need more data centers and they need bigger data centers. Uh, since uh, we formed government in 2019, we have been clear that Alberta is open for business. We've been working hard to create the right environment for investment and for business in every industry. So uh, as we look at the growth of AI and the incredible opportunity that exists around it, we want to be part of it. We want those companies to build and expand right here in Alberta. That is at the heart of our AI data center strategy. And we believe they will. Alberta is home to a long line of innovators and free thinkers who know that if you can dream it, you can achieve it. Our government supports and encourages that kind of vision. And we work hard to attract like-minded innovators who recognize Alberta as a place to invest and as a destination where there is no limit to innovation and opportunity. We welcome the good jobs they create for Albertans and the contributions they make to our economies and our communities. And that's why we maintain the economic advantages investors are seeking. Like, the, like one of the most business-friendly environments in North America, where we continue to cut red tape and create policies that help businesses grow and thrive. Our corporate tax rate is the most competitive in Canada and better than in 44 US states. And all of these economic advantages create one of three pillars that our strategy is founded on. Uh, another is our ability to uh, our ability to provide the massive, stable electric power that these centers require. This is where Alberta has another advantage over other jurisdictions when it comes to attracting investment. Our unique energy-only electricity market invites competitiveness and growth among power producers. But first, I want to assure you that even as we welcome the investment these centers will bring, our first priority will always be Albertans. As we pursue new opportunities through this strategy, we will not compromise the affordability and reliability of electricity for Albertans and local industries. That's a promise. We know the data centers require a lot of power. Again, our innovative world-class power sector offers advantages unseen in other jurisdictions. They have a proven track record of creating opportunities, solving challenges, and meeting the needs of Alberta families and businesses. The last pillar focuses on sustainable cooling, and here our climate plays a role. While we may bemoan the colder temperatures that Alberta winters bring, they are a benefit to data centers who can rely on Mother Nature to keep the computers cool as they run. Additionally, innovators in our province are already working on new cooling technology, so interested companies can benefit from that expertise. The strategy we're announcing today is a big step forward in growing our technology industry, but it's not our first step. Over the last 20 years, the Alberta government has invested over a billion dollars to grow our technology industry. Our investment has helped create AI leaders, including the Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute, or AMI, back in 2002. AMI has helped put Alberta at the forefront of innovation and notably, in 2017, became one of three centers of AI excellence in Canada's pan-Canadian AI strategy. There's no question, Alberta is ready for the future. And our AI data center strategy is an important part of creating a future that looks incredibly bright. Now I'd like to invite Minister Nate Glubish to the podium to speak in more detail about the strategy. Minister. Thank you, Premier, and thanks everyone. Uh, really excited to uh, talk a little bit more about what the Premier just shared about uh, Alberta's uh, data center investment strategy that we're in unveiling today. Um, this is something that that many of you know. I've been I've been traveling across the U.S. talking to the biggest tech companies in the world, talking about what are their greatest needs and how can Alberta be a part of the solution to tackling their challenges. And this strategy that we're releasing today is a bold commitment uh, to do exactly that. This is a bold commitment to growth, to innovation, and to economic development. But let me begin by framing the scale of the opportunity before us. Why does this matter? Why should Albertans care? 
Well, over the next five years, North America is going to see hundreds of billions of dollars of investment into building out these AI data centers and the corresponding power uh, to, uh, electrical generation to power them. These AI data centers, these, these massive supercomputers are the engines of innovation and Alberta is uniquely positioned to host them. We are ready to lead. Why Alberta? Well, consider our strengths. We have virtually limitless natural gas. We have world-class expertise in energy production, and we have a pro-business environment that delivers what investors need most, speed and certainty. And when I talk to these, these uh, tech companies who need these data centers, they tell me that the, the two biggest challenges they need to overcome right now is access to power at scale and speed to market. As the Premier mentioned, we can solve those problems like nobody else. We are committed to being a destination of choice for these investments all across North America. We know that uh, this will create thousands of high quality, high paying jobs and attract billions of dollars of investment to our province. So in the next five years, I believe that Alberta can attract a uh, hundred billion dollars or more across several AI data center projects. But this is more than just about infrastructure. This is about laying the foundation for a more diversified economy that leverages Alberta's unique assets to create long-term resilience. So. Let's talk for a second about what is in this strategy that we're releasing today. Our strategy is built on three key pillars. The first is power capacity. The second is sustainable cooling. And the third is economic growth. So first, on power capacity, electricity is the lifeblood of AI data centers and access to reliable, scalable power is critical. And there's nobody better equipped than Alberta to do exactly that. And that is why as a part of our first phase of, of this strategy, we are going to be focusing on off-grid power generation to meet the immediate needs. And, and as the Premier said, without causing any uh, compromise to the affordability and reliability of Alberta's electricity grid. Make no mistake, our commitment to affordability and reliability is unwavering. And that is why uh, focusing on the fastest path forward with, with off-grid infrastructure will allow us to scale quickly and faster than many other jurisdictions. And in early 2025, we will roll out a second phase to our strategy that will uh, outline our plan to offer streamlined, grid-connected and grid-supported options uh, for infrastructure approvals, ensuring that we can uh, scale not just for the next year, not just the next couple of years, but for the next five to 10 years uh, and, and meet the needs of this fast-growing industry. Data centers also generate significant heat, and uh, so that is why uh, the second pillar of our strategy is all about sustainable cooling. And, and our strategy talks about taking the most common sense approach on a project by project basis, uh, leaving maximum flexibility to balance the needs of environmental uh, responsibility and, uh, and, and efficiency of operations. And we know that our cold weather climate offers enormous advantages over other jurisdictions. And, and so we're excited to be able to use Made in Alberta technology where it makes sense uh, and uh, to partner with uh, the, these investors to, 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 to implement the most common sense cooling technology that, that will be absolutely sustainable. And this is something that it, we can do uniquely in Alberta that other jurisdictions simply cannot. Finally, the strategy is uh, third pillar is about economic uh, opportunity. And, and by building these AI data centers here, we are not just creating infrastructure, we are fostering innovation and establishing Alberta as a hub for high tech industries. We know that the, these investments will generate uh, enormous opportunities for incremental tax revenues, whether that be natural gas royalties, whether that be uh, corporate income tax, whether that be municipal property tax, uh, whether that be new personal income tax on the in increased jobs. This is good news for Albertans because those incremental taxes will help to fund important services like healthcare and education and the other services Albertans rely on every day. Um, but this also will create enormous opportunity because the, the computational infrastructure from these data centers is going to be critically important for that the next generation of tech companies. Uh, and those companies are going to want to be located in jurisdictions that have access to this infrastructure. And so we're going to see a ripple effect of innovation uh, and entrepreneurial uh, spirit that is going to be extremely exciting. So I, uh, in closing, I want to assure every Albertan that this strategy is designed with you in mind. We are committed to protecting the affordability and reliability of Alberta's electricity grid, and we are committed to ensuring that this growth does not come at the expense of your household budget. Uh, but by doing this by design, 
by, be, by putting the right due diligence in place and having a comprehensive strategy that sends a signal to the world of exactly how we're going to do business here, we can make sure that we deliver great results for every single Albertan. We're not just talking the talk on this. Um, one of the things that we uh, are already doing that is outlined in our strategy is the concierge service, the concierge program. This is something run out of my Department of Technology and Innovation. We are working with every single major project proponent that is interested in building a data center in the province today to help them navigate our regulatory framework and to help streamline that process. And in some cases, we've been able to work with them to reduce approval times uh, by nearly 50%. This is proof that Alberta is open open for business. So as we look ahead with the launch of the strategy, I invite global investors and technology leaders to join us here in Alberta. Let us show you what we're made of. You won't regret it. By embracing this opportunity to bring AI data centers to Alberta, our province will continue to be a powerhouse for innovation. And by working directly with investors, we can position Alberta to be a global leader when it comes to AI data centers. We know we've got a great story to tell, and we're just getting started. Thank you.